Hi, I'm Shiva, an Adivichi Pacho, Maths Faculty at Net Nation. First of all, let me congratulate all the students who have cleared their IDJ mains and going to write the J advanced on this Sunday. In this video, we are going to discuss three important points before uh, regarding your JE advanced preparation. The first one is that how to improve your confidence levels before the examination. Second point is that what to expect in the JE advanced paper. And the third point is that when you are in the examination hall, what is the right strategy in solving that question paper. Let us come to the first point. How to improve your confidence level before the examination. I would recommend every one of you to at least solve 7 to 8 mock test paper before the examination. This will help you to understand the level of JE advanced paper and make sure that every paper contains a diversified set of questions such as matrix match, single digit, comprehensive based questions, multiple choice correct answer, etc. And always analyze your question paper once after the examination such that it will improve your speed and accuracy levels during the JE advanced paper. Now coming to the second point, what can you expect in your JE advanced paper? First of all, let us understand the difference between JE mains and advanced. As everyone of you know, JE mains are more of direct based questions and formula driven questions. When you come to JE advanced, most of the questions based on the concept and also dep depends on your understanding skills. Now if you divide maths into the broad level categories, we can divide it into calculus, algebra, trigonometry, coordinate geometry. And coming to calculus, Differential calculus and integral calculus are the main categories of it. And in differential calculus, you can very often answer the questions from Rolle theorem and Lagrange's theorem. And also from integral calculus, a different integral based question, either interrelated with trigonometry or finding an area under the curve is often observed in the past few years. And the very important part of the calculus is that functions. A functions is a kind of a topic where types of functions, graphs of functions are very important. And you can often observe the questions based on greatest integer function, fractional function, or modulus function. These are very small concepts, but the questions asked, and asked from these concepts are very important. Now, coming to algebra, binomial theorem, progressions, series, inequalities, quadratic equations, are the kind of chapters where you may not expect a direct question in JE advanced paper, but most of the questions are interrelated either with trigonometry or calculus or let me say even in coordinate geometry also, you can find the applications of all these concepts. So I would recommend everyone of you, please revise back with all these chapters. These are very important in solving the question completely. And under the algebra again, a question from complex numbers, either from its properties or cubits of unity is very well observed in the past few years. Coming to matrices and determinants, matrices, most of the uh, types of matrices are very important. And properties of determinants are very important with respect to the questions observed in JE advanced. And coming to permutations and combinations, you can observe uh, questions based on permutations, combinations and binomial theorem such as combinator questions or permutations, combinations and probability based questions which is mostly asked from Bayes theorem and conditional probability are very important concepts which you should revise back and check out all the models before going to the examination. Now coming to trigonometry, you can broadly classify trigonometry into inverse circular functions, properties of triangles. Inverse circular functions, you can uh, very important questions based on principal values and identities of inverse trigonometry functions and also all the formulas based on inverse trigonometry functions are very important. And coming to properties of triangles, I would recommend everyone of you to go through all the properties based on circumcenter, incenter, orthocenter, centroid. And also all the rules based uh, all the rules based on sine rule, cosine rule, tangent rule, which are very important. Uh, the applications of these formulas and these identities are very important with respect to your JE advanced paper. You may not expect a direct question based on inverse trigonometric functions or properties of triangles, but these applications and these identities are very well asked with, within the calculus or algebra part. Now coming to coordinate geometry, coordinate geometry can be broadly classified into 3D geometry, conic sections and vectors. I would say this is one of the scoring part of your GE advanced paper. I would recommend every one of you to go through the past few question papers based on coordinate geometry. This contains the exhaustive list of all the models and all the questions covered in the past few years. If you are confident with the, all the concepts covered in past few years, you will be definitely be able to solve any question given in your GE advanced question paper. If you observe the past few papers, the questions based on equations of tangents and normals from conic sections and I would say the properties of ellipse and hyperbola are very important 
and coming to 3D geometry and uh, vectors, the application of vectors in 3D geometry is very important and in the 3D geometry the questions based on intersection of planes, intersection of a line and a plane are very well observed in the last few years. Coming to the third point, what is the right strategy when you are in the examination hall? I would recommend everyone of you have a sound sleep before the examination day and be confident about your examination. And as I already mentioned about, about the mock test papers, make a strategy of your own in attempting the question paper on the final day. It's very important that you need to go through the instructions given on the question paper and also understand the marking scheme mentioned over there. And try and pick out the questions which you are confident about and which you feel easier to uh, attempt at first such that which will definitely boost your confidence levels in, in attempting other questions. Finally, I wish everyone of you all the best and make good use of the remaining days left and good luck.